Hello Scorpio, welcome to your August 2019 reading. Thank you for joining me, my name is Michelle, this is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Doing another giveaway this month guys, so if you're interested in winning a, a free 30 minute reading with me, be sure to like this video and comment below. I will be picking one comment from the most liked video for August and that lucky person will win a, a free reading, a 30 minute reading with me. Okay, let's get started. I want to start with the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy. Scorpio, you've drawn the card of Stardust. Now, Stardust is, speaks about uh, premonitions, dreams, having a feeling, something that you really can't put your finger on, but there's this kind of energy of feeling like that you're on the verge of something or, or something is about to happen, but you're not quite sure what. The card also speaks about beginnings and endings. So I do feel this energy of power around you, Scorpio, coming into your own power. It may be that. It may just be the sense of your own power that you're feeling. And before you reach that, there's something that you need to do. Around you, you have from the Dark Goddess the card of Azumi, Persuasion. So there's people around you that may be spurring you on, coaxing you, encouraging you, urging you and persuading you to uh, take some action. Take some action to take control of your life. I feel like inducement plays a role here. Now the overall energy from the Destiny's Portal is that of the Shadow Weaver and the Shadow Weaver uh, tells me that there's a lot going on in your life. You, there's a feeling here, Scorpio, that you might be overwhelmed. Maybe even you, you could feel, for some of you, a little bit out of control. Now, it could be not as bad as that, of course. It could just be one project that you can't get a grip on. But whatever the case is, you know that you can't let things fall apart or let something slide. It's just not an option. So it, it tells me that you're, not, you're no longer to, wanting to turn a blind eye to something. And you know there's something that needs to be done and someone around you, maybe multiple people, is persuading you to, uh, to take this control and to get this job done. So let's see where this goes for you, Scorpio. I'll be using the Tarot of Dreams. I have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck for you. So it is about making a decision, one in which you're finding it difficult and uh, for the other person I'll be using the uh, the Rider Waite deck and they have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Let's see where this goes, Scorpio. I've already meditated on your energy so I'm going to cut these cards and we'll start the reading by focusing in on what you have brought this to this situation in the past. We have the Palace of Swords. It's in the reverse. Now this is a, a a card that is unique to this particular deck, the Tarot of Dreams. It speaks about, uh, really in, in this, uh, I pick this up as your mind. It's kind of like if, if you watch Sherlock Holmes or you know, uh, know a lot about Sherlock Holmes, the Mind Palace. That, that's kind of how I'm feeling about that card. Now when it comes to where you currently stand with this, you have the Six of Wands. So there is something that you're wanting to get done. We'll also take a look at where you hope to be with this in the future. You've got the Four of Swords in reverse. Nice energy there. How are you viewing this other person? You've got the Six of Coins in reverse. What are your doubts and fears? You've got the Page of Wands. What's your challenge? We've got the Six of Cups. So there is a past issue that is propping up here. And what is the outcome? We have the priestess or the high priestess in reverse. Let's take a look at the other person's energy and what they bring to this. What they bring to this in the past, the Knight of Cups may have been a love interest, but it doesn't have to be. Let's take a look and see where they currently stand. The Nine of Swords in reverse. Where do they hope to be with this in the future? Judgment in reverse. How are they viewing you here, Scorpio? We've got the Magician in reverse. What are their doubts and fears? We've got the Fool. Their challenge is the Four of Cups in reverse and the outcome for them is the Four of Wands in reverse. 
Okay, either side can resonate, so please keep that in mind. Whatever side resonates the most with you, Scorpio, that's your message. And it could be if you're cross-watching a Scorpio that is doing this to you. Let's get started. We'll start with the past. So as I was saying, Palace of Swords. In this particular deck, there is a, a, a palace card for each suit. Palace of Wands, Coins, Cups, and Swords. In this case, it's about the mind. So for you, I get this energy of having a lot of negative thoughts in your mind. Now, whatever this was, it seems like you've bottled it up for a while. You haven't been willing to come forward and, and speak about what's been holding you back. Fears, anxieties, anything that is negative that you have going on there. It seems to be a past issue, something that's happened in the past. Now the other person, they have the Knight of Cups in the upright. So I do feel that this person is someone who came in with a great deal of charm. I get a, you know, the type of person, for some reason I get, I get like a Hugh Grant energy around this, I'm not sure why that's coming up. It may mean something to you. But I feel like there's a lot of charm, a lot of seduction, a lot of fanciful notions around this person, but not a lot of reality, movie kind of feeling around this. Let's see where you currently stand. Six of Wands, so you're looking for a personal victory, a triumph, because the other person I feel has created these negative thoughts, or well, that's how you're feeling. These negative thoughts that you have revolve around this person and something that they did. I'm not sure what they did, but they seem to have a lot of shame. There uh, is some guilt and remorse. So they do regret what they, whatever they did here, Scorpio. But you're looking for this personal victory over this person. Now, in the near future, you've got the Four of Swords in reverse. So it tells me that for a long time, you may have kept this under wraps to yourself. I get isolation, withdrawal, and you've had a lot of time to think about the negative aspects of this involvement it doesn't have to be a love interest it could really be anyone here that made promises to you or uh, came forward in a in, in a manner in which you i don't know i get maybe persuaded you. you you feel like this person persuaded you maybe coaxed you into something that you didn't want to be involved in and now there's this energy around you of I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, you're judging this person very negatively. Now this other person feels that you're judging them harshly, but they don't feel that they deserve as harsh judgment as you are making it out to be, Scorpio. Now obviously they've done something because there is some guilt, some shame about it, but they do feel like you may be I'm getting a message here from Spirit, making a mountain out of a molehill, that's what they think. They think they did something, but they don't think it's that bad, but I feel that you have communicated to someone, maybe to this person, or to friends or family, that this individual did something to you that was quite bad. Mm, okay, you've been feeling overwhelmed, stressed, stressed and you feel, you feel like in order to get back on your feet here, to feel like you're, you're ready to, to tackle the next challenge that you need to, you need to have some kind of, I'm not feeling confrontation, I feel it's more about recognition, you want this person to recognize what they've done, Scorpio. Now, how you're viewing this person, you have the six of coins in the reverse. 
So they're not giving you what you need. There may have been a, in the past, this offer. Whatever this was, whether it's love or any kind of offer of assistance, kindness, generosity, you feel like there were strings attached. Mm. I'm feeling that very strongly. You feel like this person did give to you in the past, but not without expecting something in return. And it seems to have cost you something. Something here that you have been holding on to. And it's been causing a lot of uh, negative, negative thoughts. Now how they're viewing you, they have the magician in reverse. So they seem to be seeing you as someone who is, I'm picking this up as manipulation. Mm. So this other person does seem to think that, that somehow you're, uh, you're manipulating the situation. Remember I said that they thought that you were making something bigger, something small into a large mountain and they feel that you're, you're, tri you're tricking, you're, you're manipulating the situation. Doubts and fears, you've got the page of wands. Now the thing for you is you, you want to be able to come out of this withdrawal period, a place where you've kind of kept yourself isolated, perhaps from, if we're talking about love here, from love relationships, you may have felt like uh, there was something that you couldn't, you couldn't start over, you couldn't uh, start a new path. You know, I get beginnings and endings with this card of stardust. So you want to begin fresh, start on this new path, a new way of being, but you feel like you can't, there's a blockage. Now you're getting pings, signs, premonitions of how to move on mm. and there's people around you that are urging you to take action that's what I'm getting from spirit but you're doubting that you can start again now they have the fool as doubts and fears so the energy that I'm picking up around them You know, I get it as a, a weird kind of energy. I feel for them it, it is about losing something. Now, I normally don't see the fool as, as losing something. It's normally much like the Page of Wands energy, starting afresh, starting over, a new way of life. But this person fears that in a different way to you. For you, you want this, but there's something that you need to get out of your system, um, come clean about, have some kind of a conversation about here before you can do that. The other person doesn't want to start again. They don't want to start over because they don't feel like they have to. They don't feel like they should have to. Now the challenge for you the Six of Cups, so this is something that's happened in the past. And for you, it seems to harken back to, I don't know, I'm getting a, an energy here of this situation with this person brought up a lot of things from childhood. It's brought them to the surface and this has kept you in this state of withdrawal and isolation, isolating yourself from starting new relationships having love in your life some kind of atmosphere around this of hearkening back to your childhood and for you it's about recognizing that and being able to release this somehow releasing the past so that you can have this new beginning which i feel you very much want now they have as their challenge the four of cups in the, in the reverse so I'm also feeling around this person that the situation with you 
this having the six of wands I don't know it, it could be that you are bringing this out into the open in some way which has caused this individual to become isolated themselves to close off from others and their challenge here is to be able to get out of that that it may have even uh, led to some for some an illness or depression so you're dealing with someone who's going through their own emotional turmoil for you in the outcome you have the high priestess in the reverse so it is about this premonition these gut feelings but you may be ignoring them you may be not trusting that but there are I keep getting this from spirit there are people around you that are urging you to listen to your gut listen to what your gut is saying so that you can have this new beginning this new start now they have as their outcome the four of wands in reverse which tells me that there is something that's going to be delayed for them delayed success delayed happiness doesn't mean that it's not achievable it just suggests to me that they're not going to be able to enjoy it for a little while possibly because of uh, this withdrawal isolation or this uh, for some I get it as despairing energy something that they have to, to recover from an illness could be an illness so we'll see where this goes in part two Scorpio I hope that you join me there we'll be pulling out a lot more cards I'll be clarifying everything on the table it'll be about another 30 to 40 minute reading so I do hope that you join me if this is resonating the link is below in the descriptions box and that will take you directly to the Vimeo channel so I do hope to see you there if I don't Scorpio I wish you all the very best if you would like a personal reading you can email me gypsy insights at gmail.com wishing you the best with this Scorpio don't forget to like and comment below if you'd like to win a chance at a, a free 30 minute reading bye for now Scorpio